The following video will depict the technique of a hydro implantation of an IOL in the capsular bag. That is the implantation of the IOL under Ringer lactate solution itself without the use of viscoelastic. This is a technique that I would currently prefer because it negates the need to introduce viscoelastic for IOL insertion and more importantly, the time and the fluid entry into the eye to actually remove the viscoelastic. Here's how you do it. Being a left-handed surgeon, during irrigation aspiration at the outset, the irrigation is held with my dominant left hand, as you can see, the aspiration ports are held such that they face the angle as opposed to facing the endothelium, which would cause damage to the endothelium. With the irrigation held in my dominant left hand, my non-dominant right hand works at removal of the cortex, diametrically opposite to it. Once that is done, the hands are swapped around. The irrigation now enters the eye, held now in my non-dominant right hand, while my dominant hand, which is the same hand that's going to be used to inject the IOL, completes the second half of the biomanual irrigation aspiration, wherein now, in a circumferential manner, the entire cortex is removed. And upon the completion of irrigation aspiration, look carefully if any amount of the dispersive viscoelastic is still stuck to the endothelium. If so, it can be removed as demonstrated. Now, while maintaining the focus on the capsular bag, the aspiration cannula is removed. The irrigation continues to remain not only as a source of irrigation to maintain the spaces before insertion of the IOL, but also to afford and give you some counter pressure before the insertion of the IOL. The IOL is brought up to the tip outside the eye. The tip of the cartridge is introduced into the lips of the wound. And then while holding the eye straight, the IOL is now inserted carefully into the capsular bag. First in a clockwise direction and as the optic starts to open out into a counterclockwise direction until the trailing haptic and part of the optic are in the anterior chamber. Now we can actually use the aspiration cannula to slip the trailing haptic into the capsular bag. And then it is rotated into a horizontal position. And finally, that very minuscule amount of viscoelastic that went in along with the trailing haptic is removed. The aspiration cannula withdrawn. And the side port followed by the main port are then hydrated. And finally, the irrigation cannula is removed from the eye and the second side port is also hydrated.